top 10 weird looking fish you've never seen before. 70% of the earth is made up of water, but barely 5% of the oceans have been discovered. It makes you think, how many creatures that live in the water have not yet been discovered? Hey guys, Josh here, and today we're looking at the top 10 weird looking fish you've never seen before. Let's get right to it. Number 10, giant oarfish. Rarely observed in their natural habitat, giant oarfish is a true mystery of the deep. They live at a depth of approximately 3,300 feet, which is equivalent to one kilometer. This swimming mystery can grow over 56 feet long, longer than any other known species of fish, and weighs up to 600 pounds. But despite their huge size, they feed only on small fish, squid, and plankton with their small toothless mouth. They're harmless to humans, but if I encounter one of these 56 foot long fish underwater, I would try to avoid them. Most oarfish that people have encountered have washed up dead on beaches around the world. The strange thing is that almost all these washed up oarfish are missing their tails. Examination of a 12 foot long oarfish that had washed up in Sweden in 2010 showed that there were no teeth marks on the snapped part and that the wound was old. This is considered evidence that oarfish are capable of detaching a body part, just as lizards can lose their tails when threatened. Fun fact, giant oarfish taste like gelatinous goo. Fishermen occasionally catch it as unwanted bycatch in their nets and have obviously tried to eat them. Number nine, whiptail gulper. The whiptail gulper lives in the deepest waters of the Eastern Pacific Ocean. Scientists say they live at a depth of 6,500 to 10,000 feet, or between two and three kilometers below the sea surface. At those depths, food is scarce, and it's important to never pass up a meal when it becomes available. The whiptail gulper, unlike other deep sea fish, does not have long needle-like teeth to grab its prey. The whiptail gulper uses its ability to swallow a large prey at once to ensure that even a large meal is not too much to pass up. The body is long and eel-like, with a light organ at the end of the very long tail that can be used to lure prey or mates. Sight is not important for fish that live so deep below the sea surface since there has never been light down there. As a result, the whiptail gulper's eyes are small. Like most deep sea species, the whiptail gulper is very difficult to study and is known only from specimens brought to the surface from deep nets. It's never been seen in its natural environment. Therefore, there are gaps in scientists' knowledge of the behavior of this interesting fish. They're tremendously rare, and only a few specimens are available in fish collections around the world. Number eight, barrel eyes. At number eight on our list today, we have another deep sea fish. Barrel eyes, also known as spook fish, is one of those deep sea species that look otherworldly. They have transparent heads that reveal their eyes, brain, and other organs, making them a fascination for ocean experts for generations. The barrel eye lives in the twilight zone of the ocean, at depths of 2,000 to 2,600 feet. For those who count by meters, that's about 600 to 800 meters below the sea surface. They derive their name from their distinctive eyeballs, which are huge, bright green, tubular, and point upwards at a 90 degree angle. I can hear you thinking, hmm, but it's not practical for your eyes to be constantly looking upward, is it? True. However, while hunting, for example, barrel eyes are capable to tilt their eyes to look forward if necessary. Fully grown barrel eyes are barely four inches long. The main food source for barrel eyes is plankton, so they're not predators like most deep sea monsters. It is known that the stinging tentacles of jellyfish and other marine animals can be painful, and that is why barrel eyes have developed their translucent enclosure to protect their eyes while eating. Number seven, green humphead parrotfish. The green humphead parrotfish is the largest known parrotfish, named for the enormous hump on its forehead. They can live up to 40 years and exceed four feet or 1.5 meters in length. They can reach 155 pounds or 70 kilograms in weight. These fish can be found at depths of 130 feet or 40 meters, and they swim among the coral reefs of the Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, and the Red Sea. With their large green bodies, blunt pink heads, and gaping protruding teeth, they don't win beauty contests. Most humphead parrotfish begin life as females. Later, when the dominant male of the group of fish dies, one female of the group turns into a male. 
occasionally preyed upon by large sharks, humans posed the greatest threat to the giant green humphead parrotfish. They returned to the same place every night to sleep in large schools, making them extremely vulnerable to spear fishermen and net fishermen. In addition, these fish are in high demand in the aquarium trade. Number 6. Black Swallower Have you ever witnessed an eating contest? If so, you know that the winning contestants are often surprisingly skinny. They open their mouths wide, barely chew the food, and swallow it as fast as they can before their stomachs feel the pain. In the twilight zone of the ocean, the ability to swallow more than you can chew is a matter of survival. But the black swallower takes the crown in eating competitions. It can swallow other fish up to four times its length and 10 times its weight in one go, thanks to a balloon-like stomach, a big mouth, and a lengthy lower jaw, just like snakes can swallow an entire deer. Black swallowers are rarely seen in their natural habitat at depths of 3,000 to 10,000 feet. That's 700 to 3,000 meters below the surface. But dead specimens have been found floating on the ocean surface with what looks like a transparent spare tire hanging from their bellies, filled with a barely digested larger fish. When your eyes are bigger than your stomach, it's a race between digestion and gases from decomposing fish that accumulate in your stomach, and sometimes the black swallower loses. Black swallowers have been spotted in the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico. Number five, anglerfish. Imagine you're a small fish in the deep sea and you're being chased by a female anglerfish. The last thing you would see is a flashing blue-green light. Above her large mouth and gnashing teeth, the fish has a glowing lure dangling from a rod on her forehead. She uses this to lure other fish. Once the prey is within biting distance, the female fish's flexible bone structure and expandable stomach allow it to swallow animals twice its size. Since there is almost no food to be found in this part of the ocean, it's wise to stock up when you can. Anglerfish live at a depth of at least 6,600 feet, which is equivalent to 2,000 meters below the surface. Measuring only a tenth of that of the females, the small male anglerfish are not terrifying creatures. They have no glowing lures, but are more muscular than the females, allowing them to swim long distances in search of a mate. Male anglerfish do not suffer from commitment anxiety, literally. When a male anglerfish finds the right partner, he bites himself to larger females for good with a single fateful love bite. Actually, they're kind of a parasite. Over the course of an anglerfish's life, several males may physically fuse with a female, bonding with her skin and bloodstream and losing their own eyes and organs. Love at first sight, I would say. The female releases her eggs into the water and the male immediately releases his sperm, which locates and fertilizes the eggs. He feeds on her blood. Basically, he's just a little more than a sperm factory. Number four, Salpa Majora. At number four on our list today, we have one of the oddest creatures of the ocean, the Salpa Majora. This creature is unique in that it is almost completely transparent. Their only thing that is not transparent is an orange patch on their body that stands out. These creatures can clone themselves, which is an incredible feature in itself they begin to multiply in a chain thanks to their asexual nature and as the chain grows, they communicate with electrical currents. In this way, their movements are synchronized. A Sapo Majora has been seen and caught off the coast of New Zealand. Stuart Fraser and his two sons were fishing when they found the bizarre creature floating in the water. While it's fascinating that these translucent fish were found on the surface of the water, not everyone who enjoys swimming in the sea will see them. That's because they live in deep water most of the time. Salpa Majora can grow to be about 10 inches or 25 centimeters long and often travel in large groups. Number three, blobfish. The blobfish has been voted the ugliest animal on the planet, but actually that's not fair. At depth, a blobfish actually just looks like a fish. They live at depths between 2,000 and 3,900 feet which is roughly 600 and 1200 meters, respectively. At such depths, the pressure can be more than 100 times than the pressure you feel now, and the fish has adapted to this. Its body is pliable, with soft bones and very little muscle. When a blobfish is caught in nets and brought to the surface, decompression causes its skin to expand, deforming it and giving it that distinctive big nose. Once above water or on the deck of a boat, the gelatinous tissue does not hold its structure, 
causing it to collapse into a shapeless mass. The famous photo that everyone knows gives a distorted picture because it is a dead fish. I'm not saying they're real beauty kings or queens down there on the seafloor, but they don't look as depressed as they do in the familiar photos. It's the same as if we pushed a person to a depth of 3,900 feet without any protective gear or breathing apparatus. We would not look that attractive either. Bobfish are usually smaller than 12 inches, which is equivalent to 30 centimeters, and live mainly off the coasts of mainland Australia and Tasmania. Number two, human-faced carp. Wouldn't you be shocked to see a fish that looks like it has a human face? I would anyway. A short video supposedly showing a carp with a human-like face went viral on social media in November 2019. Much information about the origin of the carp is not known, unfortunately. The video was filmed somewhere in China. It seems to have first started circulation on Douyin, the Chinese version of the mobile app TikTok, after which the video soon appeared on other well-known social media platforms as well. It has long been known that carp carry marks that can resemble a human face, but it is rare to see one. In 2010, a 44-year-old British man discovered that a carp he had purchased five months earlier began to display facial features like those of a human. Mr. O'Sullivan's fish was estimated to be worth 40,000 pounds. Number one, sheep's head fish. One of the most striking features of the sheep's head fish is its teeth, which are amazingly similar to the ones we have in our mouths. Just look at the following picture. Looks a lot like ours, doesn't it? One benefit of this huge creep is that, unlike one of its relatives, the Salima Porgy, you don't risk a terrible trip if you eat one. Apparently, they taste delicious. The Salima Porgy, the cousin of the sheep's head fish and nicknamed the dream fish, was used for recreational hallucinogenic purposes during the Roman Empire. Along with a handful of other fish, the flesh of the Salima Porgy can cause a very rare form of poisoning. This poisoning from contaminated fish meat leads to intense hallucinations and terrifying nightmares that can last for several days. So the sheep's head fish won't make you trip, but it does have human teeth. The fish usually grows 10 to 20 inches long, but can sometimes reach 35 inches. That's it for today. Which one of these 10 fish did you find the craziest to see? Let us know. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment below saying, I subscribed, and we'll do our best to reply to your comment. See you tomorrow.